Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome back to Reading with Mrs. H. I am Mrs. H, and we are reading Wonder by R.J. Palacio. We are in part four, which is um, Jack Will's section, and the next chapter is called In Science. I'm not the greatest student in the world. I know some kids actually like school, but I honestly can't say I do. I like some parts of school, like PE and computer class, and lunch and recess. But all in all, I'd be fine without school. And the thing I hate most about school is all the homework we get. It's not enough that we have to sit through class after class and try to stay awake while they fill our heads with all the stuff we will probably never need to know, like how to figure out the surface area of a cube or what the difference is between kinetic and potential energy. I'm like, who cares? I've never, ever heard my parents say the word, word kinetic in my entire life. I hate science most of all, most out of all my classes. We get so much work, it's not even funny. And the teacher, Ms. Rubin, is so strict about everything, even in the way we write our headings on the top of our papers. I once got two points off a homework assignment because I didn't put the date on top. Crazy stuff. When me and August were still friends, I was doing okay in science because August sat next to me and I, um, always let me copy his notes. August has the neatest handwriting of anybody I've ever seen who's a boy. Except even his script is neat, up and down perfectly, with really small, round, loopy letters. But now that we're ex-friends, it's bad because I can't ask him to let me copy his notes anymore. So it was kind of scrambling today, trying to take notes about what Ms. Rubin was saying. My handwriting is awful. When all of a sudden... She started talking about the fifth grade science fair project, how we all had to choose a science project to work on. While she was still saying this, I was thinking, we just finished the freaking Egypt project. Now we have to start a whole new thing? And my head was going, oh no. Like that kid in Home Alone with his mouth hanging open and his hands on his face. <sighs> that was the face I was making on the inside. And now I thought of those pictures of melting ghost faces I've seen somewhere. Where the mouths are open wide and they're screaming. And then all of a sudden this picture flew into my head. This memory. And I knew what summer had meant by bleeding scream. It's so weird how it all just came to me in this flash. Someone in homeroom had dressed up in a bleeding scream costume in Halloween. on Halloween. I remember seeing him a few desks away from me. And then I remember not seeing him again. Oh man, it was August. All this hit me in science class while the teacher was talking. Oh man, I'd been talking to Julian about August. Oh man, now I understood. I was so mean. I don't even know why. I'm not even sure what I said, but it was bad. It was only a minute or two. It's just that I knew Julian and everybody thought I was so weird for hanging out with August all the time. And I felt stupid. And I don't know why I said that stuff. I just was going along. I was stupid. I am stupid. Oh, God. He was supposed to come as Boba Fett. I would never have said that stuff in front of Boba Fett. But that was him. That bleeding scream. Sitting at the desk, looking over us. The long white mask with the fake squirting blood. The mouth wide open. Like the ghoul was crying. That was him. I felt like I was going to puke. Partners. 
I didn't hear a word of what Ms. Rubin was saying after that. Blah, blah, blah. Science fair project. Blah, blah, blah. Partners. Blah, blah. It was like the way grown-ups talk in Charlie Brown movies. Like someone was talking underwater. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Mwah, mwah. Then all of a sudden, Ms. Rubin started pointing to kids around the class. Reed and Tristan. Maya and Max. Charlotte and Jimena. August and Jack. She pointed to us when she said this. Miles and Amos. Julian and Henry. Savannah and... I didn't hear the rest. Huh? I said. The bell rang. So don't forget to get together with your partners to choose a project from the list, guys. <sighs> Sorry, I'm yawning a lot, said Miss Rubin as everyone started taking off. I looked up at August, but he had already put his backpack on and was practically out the door. I must have had a stupid look on my face because Julian came over and said, Looks like you and your best friend are partners. He was smirking when he said this. I hated him so much right then. Hello, Earth to Jack. Earth to Jack will, he said when I didn't answer him. Shut up, Julian. I was putting my loose leaf binder away in my backpack and just wanted him away from me. You must be so bummed you got stuck with him, he said. You should tell Ms. Rubin you want to switch partners. I bet she'd let you. No, she wouldn't, I said. Ask her. No, I don't want to. Ms. Rubin, Julian said, turning around and raising his hand at the same time. Ms. Rubin was erasing the chalkboard at the front of the room. She turned when she heard her name. No, Julian, I scream whispered. What is it, boys? She said impatiently. Could we switch partners if we wanted to, said Julian, looking very innocent. Me and Jack had this science fair project idea we wanted to work on right together. Well, I guess we could arrange that, she started to say. No, it's okay, Miss Rubin, I said quickly, heading out the door. Bye! Julian ran after me. Why do you do that, he said, catching up to me at the stairs. We could have been partners. You don't have to be friends with that freak if you don't want to be, you know. <laughs> And that is when I punched him right in the mouth. <clears throat> Detention. Some things you just can't explain. You don't even try. You don't know where to start. All your sentences would jumble up like a giant knot if you opened your mouth. Any word you used would come out wrong. Jack, this is very, very serious. Mr. Tushman was saying. I was in his office, sitting on a chair across from his desk and looking at this picture of a pumpkin on the wall behind him. Kids get expelled for this kind of thing, Jack. I know you're a good kid, and I don't want that to happen. But you have to explain yourself. This is so not like you, Jack, said Mom. She had come from work as soon as... They had called her. I could tell she was going back and forth between really mad and really surprised. I thought you and Julian were friends, said Mr. Tushman. <laughs> we're not friends, I said. Sorry for my sniffles. Uh, my arms were crossed in front of me. But to punch someone in the mouth, Jack, said Mom, raising her voice. I mean, what were you thinking? She looked at Mr. Tushman. Honestly, he's never hit anyone before. He's just not like that. Julian's mouth was bleeding, Jack, said Mr. Tushman. You knocked out a tooth. Did you know that? It was just a baby tooth, I said. Jack, said Mom, shaking her head. That's what Nurse Molly said. You're missing the point, Mom yelled. I just want to know why, said Mr. Tushman, raising his shoulders. It'll just make everything worse, I sighed. Just tell me, Jack. I shrugged, but I didn't say anything. 
I just couldn't. If I told him that Julian had called August a freak, then he'd go talk to Julian about it, and Julian would tell him how I had badmouthed August too, and everybody would find out about it. Jack, said Mom. I started to cry. I'm sorry. Mr. Tushman raised his eyebrows and nodded, but he didn't say anything. Instead, he kind of blew into his hands like you do when your hands are cold. Jack, he said, I don't really know what to say here. I mean, you punched a kid. We have rules about that kind of thing, you know? Automatic expulsion. And you're not even trying to explain yourself. I was crying a lot by now, and the second Mom put her arm around me, I started to bawl. Let's, um, said Mr. Tushman, taking his glasses off to clean them. Let's do this, Jack. We're out for winter break as of next week anyway. How about you stay home for the rest of this week, and then after winter break, you'll come back to school, and everything will be fresh and brand new. Clean slate, so to speak. Am I being suspended, I sniffled. Well, he said, shrugging. Technically, yes but it's only for a couple of days. And I'll tell you what, while you're at home, you take the time to think about what's happened. And if you want to write me a letter explaining what happened and a letter to Julian apologizing, then we won't even put any of this in your permanent record, okay? You go home and talk about it with your mom and dad, and maybe in the morning you'll figure it, you figure it all out a bit more. <laughs> That sounds like a good plan, Mr. Tushman, said Mom, nodding. Thank you. Everything is going to be okay, said Mr. Tushman, walking over to the door, which was closed. I know you're a nice kid, Jack, and I know that sometimes even nice kids do dumb things, right? He opened the door. Thank you for being so understanding, said Mom, shaking his hand at the door. No problem. He leaned over and told her something quietly that I couldn't hear. I know. Thank you, said Mom, nodding. So, kiddo, he said to me, putting his hands on my shoulders, think about what you've done, okay? And have a great holiday. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. I wiped my nose with my sleeve and started walking out the door. Say thank you to Mr. Tushman, said Mom, tapping my shoulder. I stopped and turned around, but I couldn't look at him. Thank you, Mr. Tushman, I said. Bye, Jack, he answered. Then I walked out the door. Season's Greetings Cold season. Fun times. Okay. Season's Greetings. Weirdly enough, when we got back home and Mom brought in the mail... There were holiday cards from both Julian's family and August's family. Julian's holiday card was a picture of Julian wearing a tie, looking like he was about to go to the opera or something. August's holiday card was of a cute dog wearing reindeer antlers and a red nose and red booties. There was a cartoon bubble above the dog's head that read, Ho, ho, ho! On the inside of the card, it read, to the Will family, peace on earth, love Nate, Isabel, Olivia, August, and Daisy. Cute card, huh? I said to Mom, who had hardly said a word to me all the way home. I think she honestly just didn't know what to say. She, um, this must be their dog, I said. Do you want to tell me what's going on inside your head, Jack? She answered me seriously. I bet they put a picture of their dog on the card every year, I said. She took the card from my hands and looked at the picture carefully. Then she raised her eyebrows and her shoulders and gave me back the card. We're very lucky, Jack. There's so much we take for granted. I know, I said. I knew what she was talking about without her having to say it. I heard Julian's mom actually photoshopped August's face 
out of the class picture when she got it. She gave a copy to a couple of the other moms. That's just awful, said Mom. People are just... They're not always so great. I know. Is that why you hit Julian? No. And then I told her why I punched Julian. And I told her that August was my ex-friend now. And I told her about Halloween. Letters, emails, and Facebook uh, and texts. December 18th. Dear Mr. Tushman, I am very, very sorry for punching Julian. It was very, very wrong for me to do that. And I am writing a letter to tell him that, too. If it's okay, I would really rather not tell you why I did what I did, because it doesn't really make it right anyway. Also, I would rather not make Julian get in trouble for having said something he should not have said. Very sincerely, Jack Will. Uh, December 18th. Dear Julian, I am very, very sorry for hitting you. It was wrong of me. I hope you are okay. I hope your gro grown-up tooth grows in fast. Mine always do. Sincerely, Jack Will. December 26th. Dear Jack, thank you so much for your letter. One thing I've learned after being a middle school director for 20 years there are almost always more than two sides to every story. Although I don't know the details, I have an inkling about what may have sparked the confrontation with Julian. While nothing justifies striking another student, ever, I also know good friends are sometimes worth defending. This has been a tough year for a lot of students, as the first year of middle school usually is. Keep up the good work, and keep being the fine boy we all know you are. All the best, Lawrence Tushman, Middle School Director. Um, email to... This, this is confused. Let me show you why it's confusing. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Because it shows like the um, heading like an email would look like, so I apologize for the confusion. Um, this is an email to Mr. Tushman from... Uh, I think Julian's mom, I think. Okay. And she's uh, also sending it to a few other people. I think um, maybe ja uh, Jack's parents. Sorry, it is confusing. Uh, Dear Mr. Tushman, I spoke with Amanda and John Will yesterday, and they expressed their regret at Jack's having punched our son Julian in the mouth. I am writing to let you know that my husband and I support your decision to allow Jack to return to Beecher Prep after a two-day suspension. Although I think hitting a child would be valid grounds for expulsion in other schools, I agree such extreme measures aren't warranted here. We have known the Will family since our boys were in kindergarten and are confident that every measure will be taken to ensure this doesn't happen again. To that end... I wonder if Jack's unexpectedly violent behavior might have been a result of too much pressure being placed on his young shoulders. I am speaking specifically of the new child with special needs who both Jack and Julian were asked to, quote, befriend. In retrospect, and having now seen the child in question at various school functions and in class pictures, I think it might have been too much to ask of our children to be able to process all that. Certainly, when Julian mentioned he was having a hard time befriending the boy, we told him he was, quote, off the hook in that regard. We think the transition to middle school is hard enough without having to place greater burdens or hardships on these young, impressionable minds. I should also mention that as a member of the school board, I was a little disturbed that more consideration was not given during this child's application process to the fact that Beecher Prep is not in an inclusion school. There are so many parents, myself included, who question the decision to let this child into our school at all. At the very least, I am somewhat troubled that this child was not held to the same stringent 
application standards, i.e. interview, that the rest of the incoming middle school students were. Best, Melissa Perper Alvins. Um, as you noticed, I was probably noticed I was a little uncomfortable reading that. Um, but that is the way some people feel. Uh, this is the response from Mr. Tushman to Julian's mom, which is uh, Melissa Albans. Dear Mrs. Albans, thanks for your email outlining your concerns. Were I not convinced that Jack Will is extremely sorry for his actions, and were I not confident that he would not repeat those actions, rest assured that I would not be allowing him back to Beecher Prep. As for your other concerns regarding our new student, August, please note that he does not have special needs. He is neither disabled, handicapped, nor developmentally delayed in any way, so there was no reason to assume that anyone would take issue with his admittance to Beecher Prep, whether it is an inclusion school or not. In terms of the application process, the admission director and I both felt it within our right to hold the interview off-site at August's home for reasons that are obvious. We felt that this slight break in protocol was warranted, but in no way prejudicial, in one way or another, to the application review. August is an extremely good student and has secured the friendship, the friendship of some truly exceptional young people, including Jack Will. At the beginning of the school year, when I enlisted certain children to be a, quote, welcoming committee to August, I did so as a way of easing his transition into a school environment. I did not think asking these children to be especially kind to a new student would place any extra burdens or hardships on them. In fact, I thought it would teach them a thing or two about empathy and friendship and loyalty. As it turns out, Jack Will didn't need to learn any of these virtues. He already had them in abundance. Thank you again for being in touch. Sincerely, Lawrence Tushman. Um, email to... Okay, e email to Julian's mom from Jack's dad. Hi, Melissa. Thank you for being so understanding about this incident with Jack. He is, as you know, extremely sorry for his actions. I hope you do accept our offer to pay Julian's dental bills. We are very touched by your concern regarding Jack's friendship with August. Please know we have asked Jack if he felt any undue pressure about any of this, and the answer was a resolute no. He enjoys August's company and feels like he has made a good friend. Hope you have a happy new year, John and Amanda Will. Okay, so it was both from both of the parents. Uh... Oh, okay, so this is a faith Facebook notification. Um, Hi, August. Jack Lope Will wants to be friends with you on Facebook. Uh, Jack Lope Will, 32 mutual friends. Thanks, the Facebook team. Uh, message to August from Jack. Hey, August, it's me, Jack Will. I notice I'm not on your friends list anymore. Hope you friend me again, because I'm really sorry. I just wanted to say that. Sorry. I know you're mad at me now. I'm sorry I didn't mean the stuff I said. I was so stupid. I hope you can forgive me. <clears throat> hope we can be friends again, Jack. Uh, response from August to Jack. Uh, I think it's a text. Got your message. You know why I'm mad at you now? Did Summer tell you? Uh, response fr from Jack to August. She told me bleeding scream as a hint, but I didn't get it at first. Then I remember seeing bleeding scream in homeroom on Halloween. Didn't know it was you. Thought you were coming as Boba Fett. Um, August to Jack. I changed my mind at the last minute. Did you really punch Julian? Jack to August. Yeah, I punched him. Knocked out a tooth in the back. A baby tooth. And I'm just going to pause in between and read the back and forth. Why'd you punch him? I don't know. Liar. I bet he said something about me, right? He's a jerk. But I was a jerk too. 
really, 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 really sorry for what I said, dude. Okay? Can we be friends again? Okay. Awesome. But tell me the truth, okay? Would you really want to kill yourself if you were me? No! I swear on my life, but dude, I would want to kill myself if I were Julian. LOL. Yes, dude, we're friends again. Okay, and that's the end of that section. Um, apologize for the confusion. Also, I just want to say, saying I want to kill myself, It's I, I get it's a figure of speech, but I don't like it. <laughs> um, if you can think of something better to use in that place, please don't say that. All right, and we're going to stop there because this is running a little bit long, but I'm probably going to record a second video tonight because I am way behind on this book. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it there since we're running long. Until next time, keep reading.